You're watching the Seafood News Weekly video brought to you by Comtel, which will be receiving a complete redesign in 2020. Subscribers who utilize Comtel to track market quotations, analyze trends, and stay on top of key industry news will see a host of new features. Streamlined navigation, customizable dashboards, filtering options, quick access to your favorite reports, and more will make Comtel an even more valuable tool for those impacted by the protein markets. I'm Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. And I am the woman of the hour, the Seafood News anchor you've all been waiting for, Seafood News Managing Editor, Amanda Buckle. And in today's top story, I am <laughs> back from maternity leave after three very long months. Miss me? Actually, Ryan Doyle and I have become pretty good team. Thanks, Lauren. I appreciate the kind words. It feels good to be here. <laughs> Great. Well, in real news, for the first time ever, the Pacific Cod Fishery in the Gulf of Alaska will be closed next year while fisheries managers continue monitoring a stock crash that is directly tied to warmer ocean temperatures. Kodiak is the home port for the Gulf's largest cod fleet, and at last week's North Pacific Fisheries Management Council meeting, a research biologist with NOAA Fisheries reported that there were next to no new eggs. The number of fish were so low that it didn't reach the federal threshold that protects cod as a food source for endangered stellar sea lions. Thanks, Lauren. In other news, Seven Seas Fish Company and its owner, John Harris, were sentenced to fines and probation periods for the importation of previously refused food. According to the Department of Justice, the company in Harris admitted that between October 2014 and August 2015 that they imported more than 9,000 pounds of potentially adulterated fish into the U.S. The fish have been previously refused entry into the country because the FDA judged the samples to decompose and putrid. The company in Harris pled guilty to the charges in October. And finally, at least some Dungeness crab will be available for Christmas and New Year's holidays in California this year. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife announced Wednesday the Central California season will proceed as planned in mid-December. The season was initially delayed for the area south of the Mendocino-Sonoma County line due to humpback whale sightings. However, a new aerial survey at the beginning of the month showed a decrease in whale presence. The season is set to open at 12.01 a.m. on December 15th. That is a fact. Be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on SoundCloud and iTunes every Monday. Thanks for watching and you be well. well. We're back and better than ever.